Hey guys, hey, this is Justin Short with Remax Real Pros and wanted to make a quick little video for you today and talk to you about the three mistakes that you can make when buying your first home. So let's go ahead and get into the video and hopefully it helps you out. Hey guys, hey, this is Justin Short with Remax Real Pros and I'm a realtor and the team leader here at the Short Real Estate team. I uh, wanted to create this video again to talk about the three mistakes that you can make as a first time home buyer. So right now, you know, there's a lot of first time home buyers that are coming into the market, a lot of millennials that are finally able to buy their first home, young families, that type of stuff. So when you're out buying your home, interest rates are low, you're gonna be excited, right? Obviously, if you can buy your first home, you can start building equity, you're not wasting your rent, you're you're paying down your mortgage over time. So obviously there's a, there's a lot of advantages to that, but there's three things that we think are super important to make sure you're paying attention to. So number one is going to be not paying attention to your extra costs and fees that are tied to the property. So they're not necessarily hidden fees and hidden costs, but they are absolutely monthly costs that you're going to experience on a, on a monthly basis. So that's going to be things like your property taxes, things like your HOA fees. Uh, those are going to be ongoing. So when you're looking at a, a home, let's say you're looking at a $400,000 home, right? And if you didn't realize that is a high tax neighborhood, that home may cost you an extra $250, $300 a month. So that's an ongoing bill. It's not going to go anywhere. That's going to be there for the next 15, 20 years. That's something you have to take into account. Also an HOA, HOA payment, you know, it could be 40 bucks at big, a low HOA. Some of them are 190, 200 bucks for some of the different condos out here. So those are big fees. Those are things to keep in mind that not a lot of talking to a lot of buyers. If you've never bought a home, you, you don't know that. So you're not, not something you're paying attention to. So uh, that, that's really the number one tip that we have. Mistake number two that we see people make is not evaluating the neighborhood. So a lot of times, I mean, when people are out, you're looking at your first home and you're excited, you see like maybe the pictures online looks really nice. You got to remember with real estate is you cannot change the location for the property. So uh, that doesn't necessarily just mean the geographic location, but also the area around it. So like the neighborhood. So you want to do your due diligence on that neighborhood. You want to drive around the streets. You want to think about location, how close it is to the places you go, to the malls, to the shopping centers, to schools, to freeways if you commute out. Um, those are all important things to pay attention to. And also something we always recommend to our buyers is if you find a home and you want to purchase it, very, very easy thing to do, Friday night, Saturday night, come on by in the evening, five, six, seven o'clock at night, to park across the street, turn your car off, roll the windows down, and just, just sit just sit there and see what happens so if there's crazy parties going on everywhere and you, that's something you got to know you know if it's dead quiet and you're looking for more of that family neighborhood that's something that you want to know if there's kids out playing in the street and you have young kids that's something that's a good thing that's something you want to know but those are things that you won't know until you live there so that's a great little hack where you're able to do some of that research up front and kind of get that experience yourself and it doesn't cost you an hour of your time and then the third mistake that we see buyers make is not paying attention to the interest rate and not getting a great interest rate. So the loan has a lot of effect on your buying ability and your ability to, to afford the home. So you always want to shop your, your lender. You want to compare two or three different lenders against each other. You want to shop rates, see who's most competitive, who's giving you the best package, and also make sure it's someone that can perform and it's a good lender, has a good reputation, and is going to be able to close the loan. So so I want to make sure that they're doing their due diligence up front, right? That they're doing a full approval, a full pre-approval for you up front. Because if you're going to be shopping, you can get a rate that's say a half point better with another another lender that could save you 150, 200 bucks a month. And that's super significant. All right, guys. So hopefully those three mistakes are something that you're going to be able to avoid. Hopefully, you know, learning about those, it helps you out. Hopefully those are good tips for you. Um, if you have any other questions or anything that we can do to help, you can feel free and reach out anytime. You got all our information there. Again, my name is Justin Short here with Remax Real Pros and uh, hopefully talk to you soon. Thanks.